That's heartbreaking, man. That's that's cold. But his father come out of the car like, oh, bro. What's going on guys, it is JJ here back with another video today. Uh, obviously, it is a really, really bad time uh, in the world right now, obviously with the coronavirus uh, and COVID-19 spreading across I mean, literally the entire world at this point, uh, and a lot of us still, whether it's in containment or whether we're self-isolating or whether we're hiding from the public, uh, a lot of us need uh, essentially good news or pick-me-up at this point, point. Uh, and I feel like this is a really, really good time, I guess, to have it uh, as fans of Ajax, fans of football, uh, unfortunately remember the situation regarding Appy Nuri or Abdelek Nuri, uh, who fell into a coma after a, what, I don't remember if it was a U19 game, but it was a youth game, uh, I think it was against Wolfsburg, uh, and essentially he ended up paralyzed and in a coma, been in that coma for two years, uh, obviously he has a ton, a ton of, ton of friends in the Ajax academies, and just in Ajax in general, whether it was players in the senior team, like Hakeem Zayek, or like Deli Blind, or players obviously in his classes, like, you know, you know, the likes of a Matthijs de Ligt or Frankie de Jong or the guy who wears 34 for him at Roma, Justin Cliver. And so, uh, it's, it's actually really, really heartwarming now today that we have, I guess that I've learned the news that Appy Nori has actually woken up from his coma. He is responsive. He is talking to his family members. So, I, I mean, obviously, it's, it's one of those things that you can be really, really rejoiceful for because he has probably been working really really hard obviously to recover and it's one of those things where it, essentially it's out of his control it's just down to the doctors uh, and those that are trying to help him and so it's great that he has finally woken up from his coma uh, but we're gonna actually go back and take a look at the reactions and all of the support that Happy Nori had uh, up to those moments you know obviously it's it's one of those things where it was really really tough for Happy Nori uh, and probably fans in general to to essentially rally behind him because his father was in a really really bad state the players that were around him and surrounded him and loved him were in a big, really, really really bad state uh, and so we're going to take a look back at all the support you guys have been giving to Appy Nuri uh, and all the love that was shown to him uh, and, and the hashtag stay strong Appy uh, which was so prevalent and even the title celebration which included a lot of the Appy Nuri's for Appy uh, it's amazing it honestly is amazing because he probably would have been part of that Ajax title winning team so we're going to take a look uh, at this video you guys got to obviously let me know your thoughts on it down in the description or down in the comments not in the description below but yeah let's get into the video as well guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. It's a really, really short three minute video. Just thought it'd be really, really nice, you know, so. Happy forever. That's really, really nice. Applause, applause to literally, we're gonna go back to the beginning of this, but applause to every single person that was able to, you know, I mean, I don't know if this is actually their house, so maybe this is a weird, like, invasion of privacy thing, but to actually go out and to literally show your support in person uh, for the family uh, of Epinori and for, for his father and his brother, I think it's his older brother, uh, like, those are the folks who are the most affected by this. And for Ajax fans to go do this, actually, this is probably just Dutch people in general. They're genuinely nice people. That's heartbreaking, man. That's that's cold. But his father come out of the car like, oh, whoa. That's heavy. That's heavy. They got the Happy Nuri 34 shorts on too. That's the Shone. The IX team arriving. Hey, I, I really hope that uh, at least all of the Ajax players that are there, maybe even specifically Justin Clivert, that 
that they're able to at least maybe go see Appy. I know he's not responsive in the terms of talking, but I think they said he can, he can blink, he can eat on his own, stuff like that. So I really hope, uh, you know, that they are at least in some comfort, or, or maybe maybe not going to visit Appy, maybe not because the coronavirus, but at least getting getting to talk to the family or, or something, you know, of that consolation. Davidson Sanchez, I forgot he was on that team. So this is, I think this is right in front of the hospital visit. That's heartfelt, that's genuine. A real one. That it's it's really sad for his father to have to like to be in that situation. But I mean, I'm, I'm I obviously we want Epi Nuri to you know in in ways recover. Uh, obviously, permanent brain damage is you know it's it's one of those things. Where it's such an unfortunate situation, and he has such a bright future and bright potential. But obviously, with the Dutch people, uh, uh, you know that are, that are obviously big fans of him taking care of him, looking after him. Appy Nuri should not have to worry, and I'm hoping that he's not worrying right now, uh, just focusing on recovering and getting better, and hope that the family at least has some reprieve, uh, you know, for, for what they've been dealing with, that he has now finally uh, woken up. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on Appy Nuri, uh, on our current situation as well. Please stay healthy and please stay safe out there. Uh, it's, it's kind of a wild, chaotic uh, world right now, but yeah, thank you guys once again, and peace.